My next guest this morning is artist Mike Rooney. Now he is a plein air oil painter who masterfully captures the tropical sunlight of the island. You can view his work at the latest exhibit at Gallery on Green Street. This exhibit is entitled Haunted by the Tropics. Mike, have you been haunted by the tropics? I have. I have. <laughs> I am haunted by the tropics. All right. It's always in my mind. It's always in your mind. And you, yeah. you don't live here full time, Mike. No, you're, no. you're a snowbird. Mm -hmm. And where are you based primarily throughout the year? Mostly Wilmington, North Carolina is mm -hmm. where I call home. And then I traveled here every winter and in Cape Cod in the summer. Okay. Now, so. Is plain air painting something that you've always been doing? Pretty much. I was a sign painter before I did this, before I went fine art, and I was always outside painting signs. Mm -hmm. So literally, I have been painting outside my whole life. Now, isn't it difficult to have to deal with the distractions of the outdoors, Mike? Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're concentrating, you're trying to focus on getting a good painting, and then mm -hmm. people want to know where Duval Street <laughs> is, you know, and you're like, hey, I'm working here, <laughs> you know, but you, you're nice to them, and you show them which way Duval is, and it becomes almost, you get used to it, mm -hmm. you know, it's part of the part of the job, and you get used to it. You really have to get in your zone, then. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you got to zen out, for sure. Now, tell me about Haunted by the Tropics. Okay, it's a show of four artists, mm -hmm. uh, Gallery on Green, it opens up, the reception opens up Saturday at 5.30, and it'll be hanging for about a week, Ronnie mm -hmm. Carruthers, Priscilla Coote, uh, Michael Harrell, and, um, and myself will be showing work there for a week of, of things, of, of our depictions of the island. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a bunch of different perspectives. Mm -hmm. and yeah, of, different, yeah. Styles, mm -hmm. uh, different styles, different uh, styles. One does um, tropical singers in front of pianos. One is like me, paints outside, and I mm -hmm. stood in the middle of you torn up US-1 <laughs> and painted that, and then wow. Priscilla Coote does these big, giant, watery scenes, you know, with that Key West water. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michael Harrell does uh, island life very realistically. So it's neat to see how all of us see the same thing, but we picture it differently. We see it differently and we paint it differently. It's now, cool. do, do you paint every day? I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now you are doing art full time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this was kind of a risk that you decided to take a couple years ago. Yeah, it really was. Like I said, I was a sign painter before, and with the advent of computers doing all the signs, the, the guy said, you know, you better be looking for something else because we're not even going to sell brushes to you anymore. We'll stop making them. Mm -hmm. So I, I always wanted to be in fine art, and, and, and I knew it was risky, but what a good time to do it. I mean, if I had to do it, that was the time to do it, and so I took a chance. I stopped all my sign business, and I pursued fine art, and here I am like eight years later, mm -hmm. living the dream, as they say. <laughs> well, and you get to travel all over, I so do. that's I great. I do, in, in places that people love to go, Cape mm -hmm. Cod in the, in the summer when it's hot, mm -hmm. and down here in the winter, and then North Carolina when it's beautiful, because Carolina's very beautiful, too. I'm on the coast. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful place. Now, do you get so inspired here in the Keys, I do. Mike? I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's a reason that all the creative people flock to this little spit of land. It's very mm -hmm. creative, the colors the vibe, the, um, the people who accept the, 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 the artist, you know, the poets, the writers, the artists, the musicians. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can be, you can be eclectic here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, you can be yourself here, and that, that um, breeds creativity, mm -hmm. and, and that's going to draw the poets and the writers and the artists and the musicians to this island. Great. How do you say disciplined as an artist, Mike? Well, now that's hard here because, you know, the keys <laughs> right? disease yeah. is a real thing, you know, but um, no, I think you either are or you're not. If mm -hmm. you're an undisciplined person, then you're undisciplined. But right. if you're disciplined and you, and you stay on track and know why I'm here, it's easy to get up every day and go paint, even though I'd rather lay in a hammock somewhere and chill out. But I know <laughs> that this is what I'm here for, and so I work. And I want to paint. I love to paint. Mm -hmm. So painting's not like getting up and going to the factory. Right. I it's get up and I go do what I love to do. Mm -hmm. It's not a job to it's you. It's not a job no. at all. Mm -hmm. It's a know. passion and if you find that, yeah. you're very blessed it, to it, have it, that. It, yeah. mm -hmm. Now Mike, your work is exhibited in Gallery on Green throughout the year, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. What are some of the pieces that we would see in the gallery? Well, you would see everything, uh, you know, cross section of this island through my eyes, which is Conkhouse's Old Town. Mm -hmm. City street scenes. I've got uh, something on Eisenhower looking at uh, Truman uh, laundromat lit up in the morning sun. I've got mm -hmm. boats. I love boats. I went to Stock Island over here and, and got in the boat yards 
mm -hmm. Robbie's boat, boat yard, I mm -hmm. think, mm -hmm. and it's it's really a working boat yard. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit of cutesy, hard edge shrimp boats. You know, the the real thing, like a cross section of of Key West, because there are many faces to Key West. Mm -hmm. There's not just one. Right. And right. so I, I do a cross section, and I in fact, you know, I will paint in the middle of a highway. This is a cro a slice of life. Mm -hmm. This is something that's happening in the history of Key West, this mm -hmm. road being torn up. That's true. Now, two years or three years or five years from now, when they get it paved and it's beautiful again, that'll be a bygone memory. Mm -hmm. But imagine if somebody had a painted Flagler building down from the mainland down to here. If you could look at paintings of the highway, the overseas highway being built, mm -hmm. that would be so cool because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a graphic history. Mm -hmm. of the island mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. will be that will be in paint forever somebody will have that painting absolutely well i can't wait to see the finished product when all the construction yeah. Yeah. is done oh, right no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> literally can't wait to see the finished project on the highway and of course sure in your painting sure, sure. So you'll but, have there, to come but back. there was a beauty out there mm -hmm. there's a if you, if you look there was a beauty to the barrels mm -hmm. and i call some of them bob's barrels because mm -hmm. there were these orange shapes orange barrels with the wall and it was throwing blue shadows and it's, it was a beautiful collection of abstract shapes. I didn't do it because it's really the highway. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about what does that make as a picture, because mm -hmm. we're picture makers. That's right, you are. And you can check out his picture-making skills yeah. at the gallery on Green Street. Haunted by the Tropics is the show. Mike, thank you for being thank on with you, me Jen. this morning. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate mm -hmm. it a lot. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there's still more to come. Stay with me.